Greetings everyone and welcome back to Pony Panel. Yes, haha, <laughs> have your jokes now. It's Comic 69, I get it. Ha 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 ha. And it's funny for a comic with such a memeable number that it would be focused on our favorite Funny Pony, Pinkie Pie. Now, fans have exposited forever the horror of what it would actually be like to have Pinkie Pie having actual magic magic. It's uh, either the stuff of the interesting or the stuff of nightmares. In the Magic Apple, Comic 69, we get the answer to the question. Moral of this comic is very simple. There is too much of a good thing. Having, having too much of something can be hurtful not only to you, but anybody around you. It's a simple, simplistic, basic, no euro limits moral. It's been done a thousand times in children's TV and other things and even in It's About Time. Funny how that episode comes up again. About having too much of a good thing saying Spike and the ice cream if you remember. But the whole basis of this comic is simple. After eating a magical golden apple, Pinkie Pie has attained magical powers, turning anything she wishes into reality. And boy does she wish for some stuff. Sometimes going from the most basic to Changing all of Ponyville into a dystopian, always happy city. Kind of reminiscent of the new game We Have Few, just without all the creepy drugs and masks. Where happiness is required, as one of the signs say. Which... The only thing this comic is really missing is Starlight, especially near the end. I would have loved to see a reaction in this sort of scenario. So it's up to the rest of the of the Harmony Six to calm Pinky back down to creepy, disturbing, and yes, at times funny results, but honestly, it's the stuff of my night terrors. It's the one thing that I would never want Pinky to get, he virtually has it here. Outsmarting, outboxing, and out just weirding everyone with their Discord style powers in this episode. Flash pages and highfalutin animation stem this comic as Pinky is just being Pinky. Listening to every everyone in town trying to do everything she can just to make everybody happy. That's her goal through all, all this thing, but it just gets so far out of control that naturally naturally it has to end on Pinky's own accord when she wishes that she never ate the apple. Kind of a simple but rather appropriate solution. Sometimes we do things that we will end up regretting in life. A lot of times combined with we tend to do a bit too much of something when both of these things 
things are in play, though, regret is almost always possible. It's always a thing that ends up happening, even if we intend it not to. Sure, the part is simplistic, and it takes a lot of conceit, considering there's a full-blown alicorn here being outsmarted by the magic of an apple. But, hey, it's Pinkie Pie with magic. Don't question it. I mean, really, don't. She might do something to you. When all this con this comic, if you're a Pinkie Pie fan, or have just been morbidly curious, solves an age-old fan question while giving us a quick, concise, and very simple story for a one-off, especially coming off of two major comics that the last two did. That's why the Golden Apple Fringe of His Magic Main Comic 69 <laughs> gets a 4 out of 6. It's a solid read, especially for that uh, Pinkie Pie fans. So tell me what you thought in the comment section below. And until the next Pony Pounds, I'm Nirvana Sparkle. I'm peace in your own Nirvana. Thanks for watching.